welcome to Burning Bush. This is the Book of Death. shares the act, and often more than shares the guilt of improper trust. It seldom happens that any man imprisons another, but the debts that he suffered to be contracted in hope of advantage in himself, and for bargains in which proportion of his own profit his own opinion of the hazard. And there is no reason why we should punish the other for a contract which both concurred. Um, I'm going to invite everyone here just to close your eyes and be still for a moment. Be calm, to clear your minds and your hearts. This is about debt. Many feelings of guilt, revenge, fear, or bitterness, either to yourself, to another, or to an institution. <laughs>
we owe our older population big time in terms of respect, love and time if they gave us their today or our tomorrow. The government Vince Cable <coughs> owes around £3,000 in unpaid, unpaid VAT and it's owed to us as taxpayers. I owe Jesus my soul for helping me have a happy life and he'll get it when I die. All my financial and karmic debts more than I could ever list. A ceiling mural in Paris which I never completed despite being paid a deposit of £200 for the work and that was 20 years ago. A Sunday lunch for never having reciprocated, as the first occasion was so uncomfortable we could not bear to go through it again. <laughs> I owe my parents a good and happy life. That's all I can say. My mother, I owe her for bringing me up along with my nine siblings. And finally, my brother owed to me around £20,000 in unpaid debt and compound interest taken on in a period of relative prosperity. I call upon the spirit of human generosity and freedom present in all beings here to forgive all perceived wrongdoings and inequalities, power plays and deception, or acts of harassment and evasion connected with the contents of this book in the knowledge that there is a very clear difference between forgiving and being forgiven and holding someone or an institution to account or being held to account. May the material be brought into the immaterial. May that which has seemed real be known to be real and may that which has held on to it be released.